for me, I think um, for an LGU to be able to attain um, a low and cost-effective resilient program, it has to, um, we have to start from the bottom, uh, the source of the problem. We have to do assessment in our community, um, but most especially after assessment, then we do planning. Because if we start from uh, the top to bottom, uh, then it will be more cost costly for us to do a program. So I think um, for our programs, resiliency programs, to be low cost, we have to be really um, strict on the assessment and planning. Just like, for example, um, um, water protection in the city. We have to know first, of course, the cost of the, the, cost of the problem. Um, we have to check how the source can at first be resolved before going on a, high, on a bigger picture. Like, for example, what is this, the cost of um, water pollution in our city? So we have to go and check out the community, which makes us um, consider, of course, at first, the household. And just like in um, environment protection, like what we do um, in the city of Santa Rosa, we always um, start looking at the source of the problem. And one of the basic um, program that we have is that, first of all, um, segregation from source, from the household. So it goes up, the, the solution goes from the from basic, like from a household, going to the barangay, to the community, and then to the whole of the city. So for me, um, a low cost, effective resiliency program should always start from the basic. It doesn't have to be complicated. If you complicate it at first, then it will be very high in maintenance and the cost of your program will be very high.